Welcome. As data analysts, we use data to discover answers to questions. And then we try to communicate the findings to the audience effectively so that the message reaches the audience clearly, correctly, and quickly, leading to actions that improve outcomes, whether it's in the business context or non-business. Motion charts or animated charts allow us to express the data in ways that a static chart does not. In this video, I will talk about four types of analysis that we can do using motion or animated bubble charts. Before I start with the analysis techniques, if you have not watched this presentation by Hans Rosling, please go check it out. It's a very popular, famous video where he shows the data in a very effective and engaging way, telling a story from the data using these animated bubble charts. So I will put a link to this. Definitely check it out. Worth watching this video. Now let's go to the first type of analysis that we could do with an animated bubble chart. So here is um, an animated bubble chart that I've built in Excel. And I'll do a separate video about this template and how you can download it for free. And in this video, I'm going to focus on the analysis. So let's first understand what data this is. On the x-axis, we have the fertility rate or the number of children per woman. And on the y-axis, we have the life expectancy, number of years a person lives on average. Uh, that's the y-axis variable. And then each bubble represents a different country. And the size of the bubble represents the population of the country. And right now we are looking in 1961 snapshot of the data. So as I'm going to click animate, it's going to obviously move across years, one year at a time. So let me just animate it. So now you can see that it is going to start animating every year what happened to these variables for each of the countries. And now you can actually start seeing the bubbles move, representing the country's movement from the bottom right, which is where you have more children per woman, so more than four or five children per woman here. And then on the left side, on the bottom, you have fewer children per woman, right? And then they are moving diagonally to the top left. So the top left is the area where you have higher life expectancy, maybe around 70 to 80 years life expectancy. And then the number of children is more around, you know, two or maybe less than two a little bit. That is where all the countries have been moving in these 60 years of data from 1962 all the way until 2020. You can see all these countries moving to, when I say all, most, I mean, you still have some countries which are, you know, which have more than four children per a family, but you definitely see a very clear directional movement from the bottom right to the top left. So we could try to do this with just two screenshots. So for example, I could take a screenshot of this, and then I could take a screenshot um, in 1961, and then I can say, hey, this is how it looked. This is how it looks now. But definitely, it is a better storytelling technique if when we animated it. And so this is one type of analysis that you could do where you are trying to show the overall movement of the bubbles. And in this case, we are using country as a bubble. And you could do, um, again, you in your data, you may have product or you may have um, companies or other types of entities that we want to track. And then you may have three different quantitative variables. In this case, I have the fertility rate life expectancy and the population size as the size of the bubble. So those are the three variables that I have. But if you have different, you can imagine how you can use this technique in your context, whatever the entities you are analyzing. There are two things important when it comes to motion charts or animated charts. First is the direction. So in this case, we saw how the bubbles moved from one place to another, one spot on the chart to the other. The second is the velocity. So how fast it moves. So the direction and the velocity are two things that you need to pay attention to when you're viewing an animated chart. So for example, between 1980 and 1990, um, 
maybe the the speed or the velocity in which the the bubbles moved slowed or increased so you can do those types of observations so velocity and the direction so two aspects of the motion that you want to pay attention to the second type of analysis that i would recommend would be to analyze the bubbles as cohorts or groups so what i mean by that in this context i have let's say assigned the continent that each country belong to and so i've colored the bubbles based on the continent so you can see here that the yellow colored bubbles are from africa countries and then the red ones are from north america and green are from asia and so on so now i can actually start seeing some patterns already here um, you know at the beginning in 1961 we see that the european countries the dark blue are already you know in the top left area of this chart and then on the yellow and the green which are you know yellow is africa green is asia more countries of um, those continents are over here on the bottom right and now when we start animating it you can start seeing the movement of these bubbles as cohorts because now you have applied the colors based on the continents now you have an additional dimension by which you can actually observe and identify if there are any movements um, of these bubbles together as a cohort once again it's the direction and the velocity is what we are observing and then we want to understand if there was any pattern you whenever you're doing these types of motion charts or um, you know animated charts please make sure that you pay attention to the axis so for example in this case i have kept both the x and the y axis exactly fixed so they don't change when the data is changing so if you do it as a um, default um, then excel for example may try to readjust the scale that you don't want to do that because you are then introducing another dimension uh, which will be kind of difficult to comprehend and it may give you a misleading picture also so i would recommend in this context you know keep those x and y axis fixed so you can actually see the movement of the bubbles uh, over the years okay so this was the second type of analysis where you can actually analyze as cohorts let's move on to the third type so now i have set up the data so that we can actually compare one country or in this case country but one bubble versus other bubbles in the same cohort so in this context i've taken you, you can see the red um, little bubble there which is afghanistan and all the other countries in asia are within these other bubbles that you can see let's say in yellow now when i try to animate now the data is going to start moving from 1961 where afghanistan is over here and i think what they're trying to do is to highlight the data or the observation of one bubble with respect to all these other bubbles which we believe are part of the same cohort so in this case they belong to the same continent and you can see that you know it's been 20 years from 1962 and afghanistan is the country where this data shows that they are still in the same the life expectancy is increasing you know from bottom to the top but you don't see the fertility rate change much it's actually still in the greater than seven and now in 2001 too now you start seeing afghanistan start moving really quickly and there you go so you can now see it moves rapidly towards the top left and this can be highlighted in this type of a motion or an animated chart otherwise it will be very difficult to communicate that story so the point here is that you can highlight or contrast one bubble versus the rest of the bubbles in that cohort using these type of animated bubble charts and animated scatter plots now for the last analysis i've chosen to highlight or compare two bubbles so in this case i've chosen united states and vietnam and these are the two that hans rosling also used in in his presentation so i've just taken the same example uh, in 1961 where we see united states is over here in the middle and then vietnam is on the right side here now as i animated now you can actually start seeing the change or the evolution of the data for these countries these two countries over time and you can still see vietnam is still in there but you can start seeing the Viet country vietnam start moving rapidly now towards the united states uh, as years go by and this is again a very effective technique if you want to just compare two or maybe three uh, bubbles at a time then you can use this to 
show the change of data over time. And now we've already see that around 2000, Vietnam has come pretty close to the United States bubble when it comes to these two types of um, these two metrics, fertility rate and life expectancy. And it's kind of settling in. And again, both countries are about 70, 75 plus, um, you know, in terms of life expectancy. And then they are in around the two children per family uh, metric on the fertility rate. This is why I think this is a very effective technique. And you don't even have to speak or tell a story along with these presentations because the data itself speaks, the visual itself speaks to the audience. They, As long as they know what the X and Y axis are, they can understand the message themselves without you having to go through bullet points and you know make a big speech. That is the power of this visualization technique. Animated scatter plots, animated bubble charts can be very effective. If you have other types of analysis that you would recommend or suggest uh, that we should be doing with these bubble charts, I would love to hear from you. Please post them in the comment section below. And in the next video, I'm going to actually talk about a, a free Excel template that you can download to create your own animated bubble charts or animated scatter plots. Thank you very much for watching.